right, today I'm going to talk about something that maybe not so sexy as the right shade of lipstick, but critical to your business. I'm Sharon Haver, and this is today's Focus on Style Quick Tip, and it's about SEO for beginners. So, are you a beginner? Are you just starting out, or is this something that you really never paid attention to online? You don't even know what SEO is. Well, SEO is search engine optimization. It's the way a search engine will find you online. And I assume if you're online, you want to be found, right? So I'm pretty good at this stuff. When I just started out in Focus on Style for about 10 years, I was number one for fashion expert. You typed in fashion expert in the Google search bar and Wowza, there I was. And then they changed the algorithm on that, and there's all sorts of like weird gamey stuff on it. So it's a little bit out of your control. But right now, as of today, I think I'm like number three for style expert, which is pretty damn cool, and a couple of other things, and a lot of other blog posts. And that comes from following a couple of basic rules. And like I said, this is Google's game, right? So they could change their algorithm whenever they want. They could spam it up, they can do all sorts of weird stuff and it's out of your control. What you don't want to do is ever do any kind of what they call black hat, any kind of like skeevy link back system, any kind of people who say, I'll buy you a word for a certain thing. There's all sorts of screwy, disgusting things you can do to sort of raise yourself in the search engines. And what will happen is when Google finds you, they'll give you a penalty or they'll like boot you out. So you don't want to do that. But what you want to do is when you're writing a blog post or you're designing your site, you want to think, that each particular post or site or whatever it is has a key word. So whatever the key word is, let's say the key word for this page is blue dress, right? So that means in the title, I write blue dresses for spring. Right there, see blue dresses in the beginning. In the URL of the page, blue dress will come in there. When I start my story, my post, I'll say, this spring I'm wearing a blue dress. So blue dress is right there in the front of the first line. Sometimes it's better to put it in the very first sentence for Google, but it looks a little creepy for real people to have it kind of like stacked that way. And then throughout the post again, you'll be writing other things about blue dresses, right? So it will continue in there. If you have a photo, you might want to also make sure that the meta tag in it has blue dress on it or whatever it is. But basically you need to think of a word, think of a phrase. If it's longer, it's called a long tail phrase. If it's shorter, it could be just one keyword of what that post, what your website, what that little spot of real estate on the internet should be known for and keep that phrase throughout the post so that Google sees that it is important. And then you can do all the SEO until the cows come home, but you're never going to get up there unless you also make sure that you get links back to you. So I like to also think of authority. Bleh, I didn't say that right, did I? Authority links back to you. And an authority link would be a link from something that's bigger or higher from you, preferably the media, right? So if you're out there and you're being interviewed a lot, someone says, oh, I go to so-and-so because she's the expert on blue dresses and they write a story in the blue dress gazette about so-and-so was interviewed and says this is the blue dress and links back to that post to that page then what will happen is it will build more link juice to that page so you want to spider yourself out there and get as much real traffic coming back to you, whether it be through guest posting, through the media, through even certain types of um, social media accounts, any way you can to get the stuff back to that page and continue the phrase as you go. It sounds really complicated, but it actually isn't if you put your mind to it as you're writing. So hope this helps you in a really fast lesson for beginner SEO and whatever you do, don't buy links. Don't have someone do it who's really unscrupulous. And don't make it seem like it's one of these, like, I don't know, some of these outsourced places and say, oh, I XPO expert, I write for you. And it's in, like, really pigeon English and really weird. You don't want to do that. You want it to seem natural and flow, but really have a focus to that particular phrase. And that focus happens to be the key word. See you in the next Focus on Style quick tip. If you love this, just don't forget to hit the like button there. And if you want more ways to step into your star power, I hope you go over to focusonstyle.com forward slash insiders and join up. You'll get my free star power flash to kit and all sorts of other great goodies for me. Share this with your friend. Do something. Just don't sit there and watch. Go do something. See you soon. Bye-bye.